opera off stage and happy holidays to everybody. So today we are going to be making our definitive ranking of Christmas songs because I mean, as musicians and especially as singers, we end up doing Christmas <laughs> three months in advance. Yeah. Like that's when you start practicing with choirs or groups or you get booked. And so there are songs that you always love to come back to and there are songs that you wish you could burn. You're forced to sing in choir, basically. <laughs> yeah, it's the only circumstances under which you would sing these songs. <laughs> oh, gosh. So we've got our tier list set up and we are going to really get down to which songs need to go. Which songs need to go. Yes. All right, let's jump right on into this. So our first one is kind of a neutral for me. Little Drummer Boy? Yeah. Like, I don't hate Little Drummer Boy. And I've not been forced to sing it enough for me to, like, hate it. But, like, I'm not excited to hear it. I'm always like, oh, yeah. ra pum 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 ra pum 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 This is just going to turn into a so Christmas singing. karaoke. Um, I would put that under Rudolph Approved. Yeah, it's very neutral. And then we've got the Nutcracker. The entirety. <laughs> the entirety of the Nutcracker, because we're not going to break it down. I, I think that the Dance the of the Sugar Plum, Plum Fairy is. is the most popular part of this. But I love the ballet, and I actually think this is very relaxing to hear if you're going around. I also don't have to do anything with this, because I don't dance, and I can't play an <laughs> instrument, so... Okay, I'm going to put the Nutcracker in Living My Hallmark Christmas. Yeah. Things, because I feel like I... Once again, it's not something you're, like, jamming out to, but, like, it is actually genuinely nice to hear. That's 10 out of 10 in Hallmark movies. Like, probably every single Hallmark movie snuck in there. Okay, next we have a very choral classic, Omanium Mysterium. Yeah, I think almost every choir has sung this. And this one's a complicated one because there is more than one. Like, yeah. I believe the... Martin Lauridsen. The really common one. Yeah. I would maybe even put it in Jesus Personally Bobs to this. Yeah, I think it's a really, it's, it's always a cool, yeah, 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 I'm pleased. I am pleased. Yeah, except it's like literally everyone except Martin Lauridsen. He falls into that category. Yeah. But only just because like, I, because I hear Lauridsen so often. Very basic. <laughs> it is. And there's moments in it that are just stunning. Um, but it can also be done so poorly, so easily. <laughs> Very true. It's a danger zone. Okay, well, I automatically have to put this in Jesus. Personally, Bob's to this. It's my one of my favorite Christmas Wait, songs. Wait, sing it for me real quick. Oh, come, oh, come, Emmanuel. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Ah, beautiful. Love it. Every arrangement of it, one of my faves. I'm not going to contest you because I don't have strong feelings. <laughs> I love it. I love it so much. Okay. <laughs> Thoughts on this next one? So, do you hear what I hear? It's like... It's kind of a threat. Yeah. Do you hear what I hear? Do you hear what I hear? It's do very okay for me. I, I don't dislike it, so I would maybe say Rudolph approves. Yeah, I think it's like Little Drummer Boy, and yeah. that's like soft and like, it's not... It, well, despite like little, the threatening t thing. I well, like Little Drummer Boy a lot better than... Yeah, but he's here. in front of it. Like, if I was gonna put him there, no! I'd put him there. No! That's what Never. I'm saying. So, he's... <laughs> I agree with you. I like Little Drummer Boy a little, but this like this doesn't bother me either. No. Oh, this song's on. Oh, come all you faithful is. Faithful, joyful. I'm gonna definitely put faithful. that one on not on Santa's night. Yeah, it's not awful, but it's like everyone yells it. It's so okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So this is like the most controversial Christmas song now. Yes, baby, it's cold outside. I think this song has been wrongly maligned. I actually love this duet. I do too. I think this duet is so cute. Have you heard um, the whole, like, I guess, like, a theory about why they keep fighting about whether or not she should leave? No. So, like, apparently, like, when the song came out, it, it was super, super taboo for a woman to want to, like, spend the night with a man. Like, yeah. Even if she really wanted to, and it was, like, totally consensual, like, she still had to play it off as if, like, no, that would never happen. Like, that's below me. Um, and so she, like, does kind of want it. You know what I mean? But she can't yeah, say so. it's being coy. But I understand, like, I don't blame anybody if you don't like this one. However, I love this duet. I love this one, too. I'm gonna put it on Jesus Personally Bops to this. And on, because yeah. it is truly my favorite duet. Yeah. Like, it's one of my favorite duets in general. Because I think just two people sitting at a piano, just singing back and forth, it's so cute. Yeah, also having a bass to sing with. <gasps> okay, yeah. Mary Did You Know, though, is also a certified bop duet. 
I would put this also in <laughs> Jesus personally bops to this. I put it in the Hallmark. Friendship has ended with Jesse. <laughs> Over. This is the hard thing is like my favorite holiday is Halloween, but Michelle's is Christmas. And so she's definitely got stronger feelings than me. I think you have to go with me on this one though. But I think if it's gonna have to be Jesus personally bops to this, we need to agree. I know, but this one, like when it's kind of like more gospel and feel. Mary, did you know? Like, oh, oh. Mary, did you know? Do you know Jesse? <laughs> she did kind of know. There was an angel who told her. But it'll go ahead of the nutcracker, of course. Let it snow. I don't know. I kind of would put this on not on San Santa's nice list just because I it's kind of boring. <laughs> I would put it on Rudolph approved. Okay. I could do the neutral on that one. It's neutral. I love a holy Holy night. Holy Night is first place. Yeah. All like top god tier level. I'm so Christmas glad you song. agree. Also, I think as a soprano, we just love to sing it. Like this is one of my favorite things to sing for people at Christmas time. And I don't know why, but it's just like singing this for a bunch of like lovely old people in their Christmas sweaters. They literally cry. It's like my favorite. This is the Christmas song that like literally makes people cry. Oh, and it's like if you're like if you're comfortably a soprano, it's all so in range and you're just like It's so comfortable to sing. Oh no. And you get it's like yeah, and you just get the pop up and it's <laughs> Our Such soprano is showing. <laughs> the soprano is severe. Yeah, I'm not sure any other voice part would feel nearly as much as we. But even the no. even like the the choir coming in on. Fall yeah, it's super fun. Knees. Like it's it's great. It's. I don't know that anything else on this list is gonna top for me. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. We'll see. I'm gonna. This one makes for Christmas. Makes me sad. Yeah, it's a little bit of a. But it's like, it's not a sad song. It's a happy song. No, but like, well, it's getting it's set. Fun story. My mom, she missed her flight home or her flight got canceled on her way home. And this was playing in the airport. So now I associate it with that. <laughs> you can count on me. I'm going to put this on Rudolph approved. Yeah, I would say Don't it's in between. It. But like, if it's a bad Chris Christmas. <laughs> Christmas. Christmas. <laughs> Merry Chrysler. If it's a bad Christmas, then that's going to hit in a sad place. And that's my problem with it. It's like yeah. none of these other ones I think you would be hurt by. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let it snow can't hurt you. Jingle Bell Rock? Thoughts? Neutral for me. Yeah. Rudolph approved. I would never turn it off if it was if it was on the radio, but I wouldn't put it on my playlist. What is the song they dance to in Mean Girls? It's not Jingle Bell Rock, is it? Jingle Bell, Jingle Bell, Jingle Bell Rock. Yeah, no, I think it is Jingle Bell Rock. It probably is. Because I, I always think of the thigh slap. Yeah, solidly in the middle. Like, yeah. it's not a bad one. And, like, it gets the people going. I'm putting it above I'll Be Home for Christmas. <laughs> Frosty the Snowman is really cute. Um, I would not put it as living my Hallmark Christmas dreams. I would put this as Rudolph approved. Yeah, but I would put it, like, at the front. front. Yeah. Frosty oh. My other favorite thing is like I had a friend who when she was little and like into adulthood would sing Frosty the Snowman da, 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 da. with a corn cob pipe and a butt and nose. Oh he's got that dummy thing. A butt. butt and nose. I mean she's not wrong. Yeah. He does have both of those things. Yeah. Yeah. Hark the Herald Angels for me is a literal lump of coal. <gasps> really? <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Would you agree with me to put it at the end of Rudolph Approved? Sure. Okay. Can you give me that? Your mean one, Mr. Grinch, is definitely top tier for me. Oh, yeah. If you have a bass, like a good bass soloist in your choir or whatever, and you it's don't so do this fun. piece, it's so you're fun. a monster. Like, every time it comes on on the radio, you know it's like, you want like, the spooky Mr. Grinch. <laughs> I love it. You're oh. slimy, yes. And also just, like, the original Grinch cartoon. So cute. Yeah. So iconic. Gotta love it. All I Want for Christmas by Mariah Carey. <laughs> I will listen to this song on repeat. This is really the... This, to me, is right there. Are you serious? Right there. I think everyone who works in retail hates you. <laughs> but they don't hate you think your guts. that's right? Michelle likes this because, like, she likes to sing it and she knows she sings it well. <laughs> but it's such a bop. Dun, dun, this dun, is, like, dun, up dun. there with you singing, uh... What's the Whitney Houston? Oh, I will always love you. I will always love you. This is her Christmas version of that. But it's so fun. 
It's so fun. I only, the only reason I think about it is because I feel for the poor people who work in restaurants and stuff who have to hear this, like, year round. Like, they started playing this in, like, late October, early November when I, I worked know. in the bar. But I, I love it. I love it's such a bop. Love. It's such a bop. We cannot, we cannot. I will put it there because it's, it's iconic. And I think at least at the early part of the season, everyone feels it. But I'm just going to say, like, there is an alternate universe where I want to put, like, the retail versions of this <laughs> oh, and no. put them in, like, the bottom. <laughs> Holly Jolly Christmas. This time of year. I don't know. I don't know. Not on Santa's nice list. It's like, meh. This I would put on Rudolph Approved. I feel like when it's sung oh by, like, God, Bing Crosby, God. it's pretty... Well, anything. Any Christmas Any song. <laughs> okay, I can do that. 12 Days of Christmas for me is a literal level of cold. <laughs> we talked about this the other night while we were like drawing up the songs for this. And I was laughing. I was like, I can never, like, we could get to like seven. And then after seven, it's like, somebody's doing something. What is the 12th day of Christmas? What's the big huzzah? <laughs> okay, wait. <laughs> okay, so if we go back. All I know let's start at is seven, five golden rings. <laughs> seven is seven swans of swimming, six geese laying, five golden rings. Four calling birds, three French hens, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. And so there's... It doesn't No, matter. wait, no, no. We're gonna get this. We got it. We got it. Zero out of ten for me. Silent Night is a good... Five Golden Rings is the only part of that it's song that's good. Part. I like Silent Night. I do. It's beautiful. I would put it at the end of the Living My Hallmark Christmas Dream because it's not like so. But like I love when you get into the later verses and everything. It's beautiful. Mm -hmm. That song makes me emotional, actually. <laughs> to be quite honest, I don't know Christmas shoes. I have Literal friends, a lump of coal. I know friends have like. I, I think I may have listened to it once. I don't actually know like what the actual dead or something. Yeah, if Mama meets Jesus tonight. Horrible. Yeah. Okay. I, you know what? I take it back. I'll be home for Christmas isn't the one that can hurt you the most. No. Like, I can't imagine anyone who really vibes with this song. Cause, like, either you love being depressed, but, like, what a hurtful song. Like, if you, like, if you're going through, like, the first Christmas after you've lost somebody, like, this song is so sad. It's about a little boy maybe losing his mom. <laughs> I want to feel depressed. I I, I definitely say Christmas like shoes. the wrong melody. Yeah, <laughs> Cue up that that's so shoe. depressing. Um, last Christmas, Jesus, I think bops to this. I will also connect you to my favorite version of this. There's a Christmas in Vienna concert with opera singers and like a full orchestra, and a lot of it's really fun. But boy, howdy, they sing Last Christmas like fully operatically, and it destroys my soul. Oh, uh, I love it. But yeah, yeah, it's a bop. Grandma Got Ran Over by a Reindeer is actually... I, but put it's it above. above. Yeah, it's at, above. Least, like, <laughs> at least it's not depressing. Like, even though it's like a weird one... This is like a weird Chris. I don't know who thought this was a good song or like who wrote this or why. I don't know. Either. It's like a weird joke song. It's well, that movie is absolutely trash as well. So it True. only makes sense that wow, the song it's like that the it little is animated so, film. It's also so poorly animated. Like it's just garbage. MS Paint level. <laughs> not quite that bad. <laughs> it's not that bad. But I just also blend like. You may say that you don't believe in Santa, but as for me and Grandpa, we believe because he murdered my grandmother. <laughs> I know for a fact. <laughs> he's Imagine if you met someone like that and you're like, you know, I don't believe in Santa. He's like, you don't believe in Santa? <laughs> Santa murdered my family. <laughs> he murdered my wife. <laughs> oh my gosh. I love that. Yeah, wild. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. I think it has to go in Rudolph Approved. No. He has to go in Living My Hallmark Dreams. Okay. Because that one's so sentimental. Like, I remember learning that song as a kid. And, like, singing it as a kid. And it makes me very happy. Wow. I will say, though, it, it does tragically suffer from uh, 12 Days of Christmas Syndrome when I get to the names of the reindeer. Oh, yeah. You know? <laughs> Are there eight? Vixen. Vixen. Donner. Something. And Blitzen. Blick. Blick. Blitz. <laughs> <laughs> Blitz! Blitz! <laughs> um, Dasher and Dancer, Donner, Donner and Vixen, Vixen, Comet and Cupid. Cupid. I want to say Donner again, but it's not Donner. Or is it Donner Did and Blitzen? Donner, 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 Kabob. 
You've got Dasher and, and Dancer. Prancer. Prancer. Pran Dancer and Prancer. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> we, only got more. we forgot what we've already done. We don't root all. You've got Dasher and Dancer, isn't it? Dasher, Dancer, and Comet. Am I making a <laughs> Okay, wait. You've got Comet and Cupid and Donner and Blitzen. Where's Dasher and Prancer? Is it Dasher and Prancer? I feel like Dancer is one of them. Yeah, there is Dancer. Dasher There's Dancer and Prancer. And Prancer. <laughs> Donner and Vixen. Comet and Cupid. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, you get to the end of it and you do kind of mumble. Also, like, one of the cutest Christmas movies. Cutest. Cutest. Love, love, love. Okay, I have beef with the song. Happy Christmas, Xmas, War is Over by John Lennon. Actual trash. Putting it below Christmas shoes. <laughs> it's so annoying. What does this one sound like again? This is one that has And so there was Christmas. <laughs> I'm still, I don't know. I'm actually still gonna put about Christmas shoes because, like, I'm gonna play Christmas for, shoes for you after this. Yeah, but I feel like. I feel like there's another generation that really likes this one. Well, no, I'm one. telling you. Christmas shoes. You haven't even. Day. No. I don't like kids singing. I, don't, I do not like children. <laughs> <laughs> I do love children. I just don't like them yeah. singing. <laughs> that's true. That's a, like, I think that's one of those things where, like, if it's your kid, it's adorable. Adorable. And then Other if it's kids, anyone else's. Stop. Or it's a horror movie. Or it doesn't even matter if it's a horror movie. I still feel horror when kids sing. <laughs> this also suffers from children singing. You guys, I hate. Christmas time I hate. Time is here. Time for joy and cheer. Yeah, not a cheerful song. In this it's way. it's honestly oh, like I swear they only play this song when I'm driving at night. Every time of you. Wow, I Pretty swear. Good. No, I have said so many. Every time it comes on the radio, I'm driving at home at night by myself, and it's like haunting. I always have to change it. I do not like the song whatsoever. This is definitely a actual. I would actually let you call. put this. this I would last. let you put it last. This is last. Once again, but I once again will make you listen to Christmas shoes after this. Handel's Messiah is a freaking bop. You cannot convince me oh, otherwise. Oh, it is. And Jesus once again, is bopping. It, yeah, like you're always so hyped, though you sing way too loud way, every single time. Like, no levels. matter how much I know I should not, just like, just, you, you gotta, gotta go hard. I, I definitely voice cracked at this before, too, just because I've gone like, <laughs> awesome. Right on that G. <laughs> I saw three ships come sailing in, got a place to stay all Christmas. <laughs> Bye! <laughs> <laughs> Music degree rescinded. I, I saw three ships, ships come sailing in on Christmas Day in the morning. This is a fun one. This one's super fun. It's like really random. Yeah, and not everyone it's knows it, random. so it's like really fun to... Like, yeah, it's really weird. It's like, like the least popular Christmas story. <laughs> I thought. I thought. <laughs> I thought. Three th I would put this like... Mm. I would put this one here. Yeah. Jingle Bells to me is mid-tier. But like mid-mid-tier. I would put it I would put it above Away in a Major. But it's not as quite as much of a bop as Holly Jolly Christmas to me. Put the Holly yeah. Jolly Christmas. I can't believe we didn't put I can't Christmas. believe we didn't put Blue Christmas on here, so we're, you're not gonna see it on our tier list, but we should, we're gonna rank it anyway. Because <laughs> Michelle, as we were going through and like I said, just picking out Christmas songs for this, I was like, she was like, oh, you know, Blue Christmas, and then she just comes out with this Elvis impression. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm having a blue Christmas oh. without you. I'm a heaven of <laughs> I love it. Where does that come from? I, I love don't know. it so deep. Now you can hear her mezzo. So we are going to link to the tier template that we've made that has all these songs on it so that you guys can show us what you think, what you think we got wrong, and what your favorite Christmas songs. And you put Christmas shoes in the top, so help me, I will block you. <laughs> True. If you put the little Charlie Brown Christmas song, I we, we can't be friends. <laughs> so I hate that song so much. So I will link to all of our socials in the description below. Please share your tier list with us. We will throw them up on our Instagram stories. We will criticize your decisions. <laughs> this but is we will the have... definitive list. Just so you know, it's factual. There's no room for interpretation. Yeah, this is 
the definitive but, list, but we are willing to hear you out and tell you why you're wrong. <laughs> Nobody's going to fight me on Twitter. All, all of the non sopranos coming after us for so Oh Holy true. Night. No, that's factually like the best. That's like the big it's song. true. You can't. Everybody loves that song. Anyways, thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Check out our podcast, Opera Offstage, um, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.